has caffeine really an effect on lower urinary tract symptoms? That's the question I'm going to discuss today. Well, as a pelvic physiotherapist, I give the advice like is recommended in the guidelines to reduce caffeine intake for patients with uh, overactive bladder symptoms like urgency, frequency, urgency urinary incontinence and nocturia. But I have noticed that this um, advice I give doesn't work for all patients. So I, when I came across this scoping review that I'm going to discuss today, of course I was very interested and I want to share the results with you today. Well, hi, welcome back to Pelvic News Channel and I really hope you like this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And I would really appreciate it if you like this video that you um, mention it to your colleagues and other pelvic physiotherapists as well. So, because not everybody is on Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram. So please share my blog or YouTube channel with your colleagues. Well, thank you very much. The research I'm going to discuss today is a scoping review. A scoping review includes all types of research. So uh, randomized control trials, cohort studies, um, in even qualitative research. And the results of this uh, scoping review is based on 26 uh, studies. And they were, there were a lot of differences between the studies. Uh, the population, male, female or mixed. Um, the intervention, is it only the reduction of caffeine or is it a part of a treatment? Um, another difference is for in, was, for instance, uh, the way the caffeine reduction was measured, uh, were validated measurements instruments used. So that was quite mixed. And I made an overview, so a table of the main outcome. And I will show it here. but. It's too much to discuss today with so much variability. So if you are interested in this table, I encourage you to visit my blog. There's a, a link in the description down below. And in my blog, you can find the, the table with all the outcome. This scoping review showed that the main outcome of caffeine is on urgency. And this has a level of evidence to grade B recommendation. And the second outcome is on uh, nocturnal urinesis, which has a level of evidence for grade C recommendation. However, the effect of nocturnal urinesis was on research on a geriatric population. So um, generalization for the public is more difficult. And the effect on urgency that might be explained by the properties of caffeine, which are that caffeine has a mild diuretic effect, it has an excitatory effect on the detrusor muscle, and it's known that bladder filling uh, is noticed sooner, so it has an excitatory effect on the filling sensation as well. So if we are treating patients with overactive bladder symptoms, urgency is the most likely symptom that is influenced by caffeine. And as a caffeine lover myself, I look forward to re well-designed research. And the authors have written a whole page on different uh, issues that need to be addressed in well-designed research. And I really look forward to well-designed research. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.